Number 15. Determine the amount of time it takes for x-rays of frequency 3 times 10 to the 8 hertz to travel letter A, 1 millimeter. So they're trying to trick you here. This stuff, who cares? Doesn't matter. All right. They're asking about time and distance, and they're giving you the distance. So therefore, I'm thinking about, well, how is time and distance related? Oh, maybe it's related via the velocity formula, right? The velocity is equal to the distance or displacement divided by time. Now, technically, I probably should be using the value of speed here, but you know, it doesn't really, in this problem, it really does not matter. So um, I ask myself, I want to find time. So I'm going to just cross multiply these two, right? Switch them up. So now in order to find time, I need to know the distance. Well, check, I do, right? So that's in millimeters, but we need that in meters. So just take one and multiply it by 10 to the minus three. And then we need to know the velocity. Well, what is the velocity of an X-ray? Now you might be thinking, well, do I need to, to you know, what am I gonna, do I need the frequency? No. No, 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 no. X-ray is a type of electromagnetic ray, right? What's the speed of it? Three times 10 to the eight. It's the same as the speed of light. So that's a constant. You'll be expected to memorize it. So for letter A, it's going to be one times 10 to the minus three divided by three times 10 to the eight. So here we get about 3.33 times then 10 to the minus 12th. And that's then in terms of not meters, but in terms of seconds, because it is a time. All right. And now uh, this is saying over one centimeter. So what do you think about that now? How long is it gonna take to then travel uh, one centimeter? Well, it should take a little more time, right? It's gonna take about 3.33, and you can do the math out here, times 10 to the minus now 11th seconds. All right, excuse, yeah, a little more time, all right? And you can then plug that all in. This would be times 10, to, this would change now to the minus two. All right, minus two. And that's it. So guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing if you can and hitting that like button. I will see you soon. Take care.